My name is Alberto Garlacem. I have a PhD in cognitive neuroscience and I'm teaching applied neuroscience and neural foundation of multisensory communication at University of Milano Bicocca. I'm also the current scientific director of Mind and Behavior Technological Center or MIPTEC. My name is Alessandro Gagliadini. Uh, I'm a professor of cyber psychology here at the University of Milano Bicocca. Uh, I have a PhD in cognitive life in the information society and I work at the MIPTEC. MITEC is one of the biggest uh, multidisciplinary reserve centers in Europe for the skewing of uh, human factors in interaction with technology, and in particular with virtual and documented reality. We use technology, like this one, for understanding the complexity of the human mind. And the other side, we use what we know about the human mind for improving technology, making it more usable, safe, intuitive, and acceptable. At MidTech, I'm working with my team on several projects where Arduino technology is integrated with virtual reality simulation. In particular, we investigate how the neural system adapts to changes in the way in which we interact with the world, directly or by digital and robotic mediation. We create situations where Arduino provides haptic feedback to users during the interaction with virtual objects. In some cases, information coming from Arduino sensors mounted on robotic arm is provided to users in virtual reality and generate a tactile stimuli on the body by means of rigor nodules and actuators. We then collect electrophysiological data about the change occurring in the brain following the interaction. This helps us to understand the mechanism of sensory motor neuroplasticity, but also to develop human augmentation and rehabilitation for users. This is just an example of some project at MIPTEC where we can simulate several sensations, touch, medium, smell, and so on, and detect any kind of biometric, neurological, and physiological parameter from the users. We are now deciding to expand our lab by creating a new environment to study social interaction, the Pihon. The Behome stands for Bicocca House of Wolf Image from the Ecological Experience, and it's an innovative project developed by the Department of Psychology at the University of Bilbao Bicocca. Basically, the Behome is a fully equipped smart home designed to study human behavior and social interaction in everyday life. Not only social interaction, but also interaction of people with new technologies. It provides a controlled and realistic environment where researchers, but also PhD students and other colleagues can observe and analyze how people interact with different technologies and devices. Thanks to a network of sensors and Arduino controllers, we'll be able to monitor and adjust all the environmental factors like lightning or indoor temperature, as well as to collect uh, behavioral data such as interpersonal distance between users and you know, physiological responses to changes in the environment. We will also use advanced Arduino technologies like the Nikola Vision Board with machine learning capabilities to recognize user gestures, for example, when people is interacting with a, a personal system like digital humans. The system will control world projection that can simulate various indoor but also outdoor environments, making the experience even more immersive.